Well, hey folks, BBC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. We are on the Ricci Homestead map, and last time around, well, we uh, cleaned up not only the trees, but we cleaned up in our wallet as well. We got $400,000. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Today, we're going to do this. Yes, indeed. Um, now I know I'm a little outside of the field, but I figure it doesn't hurt. I do hope everybody's doing well today. It is the weekend, and uh, pretty cold out here on the west coast, at least as far as the, the west coast goes. <laughs> May not be Canadian cold for a lot of places, but yeah, pretty chilly out here. Been below freezing for a couple of days, we might even get a touch of snow. Yeah. So yeah, whoa. Okay, this thing really likes to pull a corner hmm. I guess I could have gone a little wider on the sides all right and that's once around Clean up the front of the property. There we go. Nice. How's it look from the inside? Oh, not bad, eh? A little quieter in here, I'll give it that. Man, this thing is fast. Are we actually cutting grass? Yeah, we are. Whoa. Okay, am I missing huge sections? Probably, eh? <laughs> it's, yeah. Almost a little too quick. It's even scarier from inside here. But the idea, of course, is we want to get our uh, field cleared off, like we got going on here. Oh. Let's see. Uh, I need a bigger headland on this end. I see from Facebook that uh, the map author, Steve, not too uh, too happy as of late. I guess he's been getting a lot of flack on the maps. And 
Then of course there's the usual thing with mod thieves and blah 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 all the drama that seems to go along with uh, building mods for farm sim. And I guess he's just pretty much reached the end of his rope with it. And uh, has decided to pretty much pack it in as far as map making goes. Or any of that other thing is... Uh, I'm not sure as I'm fond of this thing. Well, the turning is a little weird, for one. And it's just... Dumbly fast, you know. I mean, we're doing what 65k. I mean, I can understand there's you know, it's big properties, so and you don't want to be taking a month just to just to cut your grass or do those sort of things, but it's still. I don't know that this is really my style of uh, farm sim, to be honest with you. I can't help but think though that maybe a, a portion of the problem is people aren't really that aware that Steve's maps are very, very specialized. You know, like I'm running a couple of extra mods on here and that basically means that my version of the map's not supported as far as Steve and the rest of the people in that modding community are concerned. Now, I mean, I'm running real clock so that I can actually look up there and go, oh, okay, it's 9.20 in the morning, my time, because I don't have a, a clock conveniently without basically turning around and looking at the other end of the room, um, which doesn't keep me, you know, face forward to the mic, let's face it. Um... I think that might be about it. But, yeah, I don't know that people realize just how specialized a mod pack it is. You know, because 90% of what you do in farm sim is you figure out what map you want to play on. And then you start piling the mods in, all the stuff you like to play with, all the utility mods that you just can't live without. You know, and there may be production on the map. There might not be production on the map. And you just... You know, well, I don't have to tell you guys. You sort of pick and choose what you want to stick there, and you go. And, of course, on these maps, you can't really do that. You know, um... Generally, most or all of the allowable fill types are used, for one thing. Um, so if you add a mod that adds a fill type, it likely doesn't work. There's, there's just a bunch of that, and I think that may be a bit of the problem is like I say people are just not aware that look if you're gonna play the map that's basically what you get you know just stay out of mod hub don't be bucking around with all of those things because they're not for this particular play And on the other side of the coin being, of course, that most maps are just that. They're maps. You know, this comes with the mod packs and everything else that's required to play it. So, but it's definitely a different sort of a thing, you know. Definitely a different sort of a thing. And like I said, I wonder if that's not where some of these issues come from that Steve's having with people. You know, is they think that, okay, here it is, it's another map. And then the next thing they know, it doesn't work. <laughs> so they immediately start ragging to Steve about how things don't work. And 50 times a day, he has to come on and go, look, if you're not running it straight up, there's nothing I can do. And I can understand, you can't test every single mod in the mod hub. Major stuff, you know, like if there's a you know, a straw mod or something that basically everybody's going to use because it brings a functionality that wasn't there before. Okay. 
you know, a Stiebel test for those, and then it's, you know, we get to find out whether it'll work or not. Like, I think the Maze Plus mod doesn't work on this, but there's some other straw thing or something, and it does, right? So, yeah, there's that. How are we doing here? 163,000, but we've still got lots of space. Some good stuff. Ah, at slow speeds, this thing just flops all over the place when you're trying to turn it. <laughs> well, that's okay. Most of the time, you're doing anything but slow speeds. So, yeah, sorry to hear after all of that hard work that you know, he gets frustrated enough for that sort of thing to happen. But hopefully, I won't get too discouraged. I know that uh, the main reason Steve got into it was because he found it was an easy way to take his mind... Well, not an easy, but it was a good way, let's put it that way, to take his mind off the fact that uh, the medical issues he was having, or is having... Um, you know, cause him a lot of pain, and it's not fun to deal with. Believe me, I, I know. <laughs> I was, uh, spent most of my night dealing with it, so I'm tired as heck today. But, uh, yeah. We, uh, we do appreciate the hard work, buddy. We really do. You've made some amazing maps. And certainly, probably, some of the, uh, more suitable multiplayer maps. I think the issue there, though, might be that I don't know that the multiplayer two something years into the game is as popular as it was. You know, that seems to go real gun ho when the game launches. You know, when seventeen launched, there was lots of multiplayer servers running for a while. When you know nineteen launched, same thing. Then there was a bunch of new servers up and a lot of multiplayer stuff and. Like I said, I think maybe, uh, you know, as with most multiplayer games, the longer the game is out, the less large groups of people take advantage of the multiplayer aspect. Which kind of ruins a lot of games, too. You know, developers are making a pretty cool game, and you get that every single game gets them, that vocal minority that goes, Oh, multiplayer, I'm not buying it. You know, that alone, I would think, would throw up a red flag and you'd go, well, you're just the kind of customer I don't want anyway. But no, they too often buckle under the pressure of, oh, look, but all these people will buy it and play it if I put multiplayer in. Even though that then takes all of their resources, time, and effort, and by the time it's in, they're done with the game. You know, and then, like I say, the multiplayers are all, yeah, this is really cool, and we'll play the heck out of it for a week. And then we've managed to bug some other developer into adding multiplayer, and so we're going to go play that. And I think the same thing happens with Farm Sim. I don't know that the multiplayer, <coughs> especially with 19 now, kind of being past the normal point of its prime. I don't know that building multiplayer maps is exactly a viable thing. So when you make them so specialized on top of it, yeah, I imagine that people try and do whatever they can to, uh, you know, make it theirs. But yeah, at any rate, there you go. So there are some, uh, some really good stuff coming on the horizon. That game Journey of Life I did feature a series on, um... Really cool survival game. The one where you, you you live off coconuts and build windmills? That's the one, yeah. 
Um, I believe the 10th of February is when they're... How did I end up with an entire half row gone? Huh. When they're uh, bringing it back with the new engine. Which is kind of what they were doing. It's why they didn't... Uh, and I hope there's been other improvements as well. I really, really like that as a survival game. The only issue I had with it, and all of the fanboys jumped on me for it, was... Oh, weird, look. Here again, all of a sudden the row... I don't get that. How does that keep happening? Oh, I'm full now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. But yeah, this one only holds 250,000. As opposed to, you know, like a million or something, which is what we usually get with these tools. Okay, so... With that said, we know this is some kind of grass process and facilite. Let's see if this will say anything. No. Okay, this is the composter. Yeah, okay, so... All right, so this is the composter. Grass processing is actually the one at the other end. All right. Oops, wrong rig. There you are. I mean, we also want to do silage. I would think. Yeah, oh, whatever. So... Okay, here we go. What? 640,000. Holy crack piles, man. Seven hundred and thirty-nine thousand. Well, it's a good thing we make a billion dollars every time we turn around here, isn't it? So field one is this. Ready? Yes. Ooh. Ready to harvest, eh? Hmm. I suppose we could lease it, harvest it, and keep all the goods. <laughs> But, okay, so here's the BGA. Now, I imagine you have to own it to use it, right? Because that's the way these work, I think. Um, yeah. It's only 130,000. K 
BGA. So we should now own the BGA. Whoa. <laughs> 40 million. Okay, I don't want that. All right, we should be able to dump a load in there then. Nice. Okay, and what is this guy going to make for us? Um, yeah, you're not going to tell us anything, are you? Other than control G. Yeah, composter, raw materials, one of two. Okay. So, why is that? That's not the one I want to open, actually. It's this one. Grass processing. Here we go. Oh, okay. We can do silage, hay, or grass here. Ooh. Why does it say the fill level is zero? Did I not just... What the heck? Huh? Yeah, I emptied this in there, didn't I? Did I not just empty this entire trailer in there? Did I make it up? No, I didn't make it up. I emptied it in there. Hmm. Pretty sure I just dumped 200-something uh, thousand liters of grass in there. Okay. Well, we'll figure that one out. And I guess if that one produces silage, we don't actually need the BGA, do we? Oh, well, wasn't that much. We might as well hang on to it. Okay. Okay, there. We should have a fairly even row. So let's go down to the end here, turn ourselves around, whoa, big bounce on the old blade there, that can't be good for it, okay, let's do the same, come back, and it should be pretty much an even row all the way to the end, and it is, I wonder what I've been doing before that, oh well, it seems to be fine now. Might have missed a bit there. Yeah, 
Not bad. Really don't need that open, I don't think, do we? I'm also liking that uh, Dyson Sphere program. That looks like that can be a neat little builder. But we'll see how it goes. I've tried doing uh, Factorio series several times and there doesn't seem to be any real interest. Um, same thing, Satisfactory is a great game and it's still in early access so it's not even done but yeah, it doesn't seem to generate a lot of interest. So I hesitate going back to them. Well, I guess when you realize how long it takes to mow this field, I suppose we should be thankful we've got equipment that does crazy speeds and picks up huge quantities. Where boy, oh boy, it would take us six episodes to get our first field ready here. As it is, it took one to log it. It's going to take another to cut the grass. And then likely one to seed it. So... <laughs> doing capacity wise oh, we're only 40 percent just under I wonder if maybe it just takes a minute for that to register that it has grass because that would uh, kind of suck if it wasn't working <laughs> I don't think we're going to fill this guy a second time. Not quite. But we are going to finish it.
Now I think we have the tool for fertilizing and that sort of thing, I think. And I believe that the uh, big cedar that Steve starts us with, whoops, come on, pretend you know what you're doing. Um, doesn't require uh, previous cultivating. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that, obviously, but I'm thinking that might be the case. And if it is, good stuff. If it isn't, well, we'll have to get ourselves a nice big cultivator. That's all. Alright. Well, my lines weren't exactly parallel, so we end up with this sort of a thing, but that's okay. that just sits up there. Okie dokie. So there we go. Our field is freshly mown. Yeah, there we go. We do have a machine for spreading furts. Good stuff. And with that, guys, I think I will uh, call the episode there. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Till next time, do take care of each other, and ciao for now.